Bismillah, alhamdulillah, salatu wassalam ala rasulillah. Welcome to all viewers. I'm here with Brother Sajid Lipham. If you're not aware of Brother Sajid, he is doing amazing work on his YouTube channel, putting out a lot of great, uh, mashallah, informational videos uh, on Islam and da'wah. And so I highly recommend uh, you to follow his work and to benefit from him, inshallah. Today, we're here with him to have a conversation about his background and some of the things that he's been working on, some of his you know, difficulties, some of his hopes, some of his aspirations. And we just want to benefit, mashallah, from his experience and from his unique perspective as a convert to Islam and a student of knowledge who has actually gone to Medina and has studied Islam for years. Uh, and now, alhamdulillah, we've been blessed. He's uh, back in the United States and he's doing dawah, he's teaching. And so we want to learn from him, inshallah. So jazakallah khaira for uh, agreeing to speak with me and being here with us. My pleasure and jazakallah khaira for those kind words. I appreciate it. Barakallah fiq. Yeah, of course. Uh, so can you just tell us a little bit more about your background in terms of maybe how you converted and became Muslim? Sure. So, Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah. So, I grew up in, uh, in Maryland on Fort Meade. My father was in the army, and um, I was raised Protestant Christian. And, you know, I had, alhamdulillah, I had like a strong fitra when I was young. I really believed in Allah. And as I look back, I can see how my fitra made me just inclined towards certain things that, that uh, are from Islam. But um, as I got older and I wanted to learn more about God, about Jesus, um, I just remember inquiring to like my parents and, and people, um, you know, like what's, what is this, like who's Jesus, who's God, what's the difference? And I just remember being told that, you know, basically Jesus, he's the son of God, he died for your sins. If you believe in him, you're going to heaven, you know? So this was right around the time as I was sort of, you know, be becoming an adult, becoming like a teenager and going through that whole adolescence um, sort of thing. And I guess after that, I just started chasing the dunya, you know? I just was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to heaven. Um, and I guess I was just like a, your average, I don't know, uh, kid in America. Like, I, I was into music. I wanted to be a musician. I was into sports and all those sorts of things, you know, just chasing chasing the dunya. And um, I guess long story short, as I got older, I went to college. I started sort of seeing through all of that. I mean, um, everything that I was chasing once I got it everything that I desired whether it was music or whatever the case may be I just I, I was questioning like what's, what's the real point of all of this you know I started actually even feeling silly I remember when I'd be making music like what am I even talking about what am I even doing like is this what life is all about and um, you know that led me to basically look everywhere for the truth I looked into Christianity naturally because that's that was part of my background and studying the Bible led me to look into Judaism and then all of that led me into all of the other religions and philosophies and you know basically when I reached a point where I was like I don't really think that any of this is really true I mean it seems like whatever I was studying there was some sort of wall I would hit where it was like I think this is just sort of people's conjecture they're just trying to figure things out they don't really know I was like, well, let me look into Islam. I never read the Quran. And I started feeling silly that like how, you know, everyone knows about Islam. You know, 9-11 happened when I was in high school. I remember hearing about it. I did a Google search back then and it said they want to kill everybody. So I sort of just wrote it off. But then I was like, wait, I never even read. I never even read the Quran. Let me read it. So alhamdulillah, I remember one night after searching for maybe about two years, I started reading the Quran and I got goosebumps and chills and I knew this was from Allah. I knew this was from the Creator. I knew it was the truth. It was like nothing else that I had. After all those years of searching, it was like nothing else. And the more I learned about Islam, the more I knew it was true. And to this day, alhamdulillah, the more I learn about Islam, the more I am convinced it's true. Alhamdulillah, and there's nothing else like it. You know? So alhamdulillah, that's basically my story uh, embracing Islam. MashaAllah, that's very inspiring. And how did um, your family react? Like, were you very openly become Muslim like after that? Or did it take some time after recognizing that's the truth for you to like outwardly manifest being Muslim? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, I was so grateful to have found the truth because I, like I said, I searched everywhere else that I was starting to doubt that there was any truth. I was starting to doubt that God or a creator ever even communicated with us, or if he did, it was in past scriptures that got lost and manipulated. So 
By the time I found the truth, I was so ecstatic and happy and grateful. I I was all in. I wasn't, you know, I was, I I legally changed my name, like, subhanAllah, like, instantly, you know? And this is something I, I have, like, apologized to my parents and stuff because I was so, you know, some people, when you embrace Islam, it's just so emotional and you, you know, you want to show your gratitude, but you don't really know how to go about that, you know, and you, you, and that's why it's very important for there to be programs to, like, guide new Muslims and stuff like that to, to keep them from doing anything crazy. But, um, no, I was very, like, alhamdulillah, I was ready and willing once I found the truth and I was like, I was like, Islam is the truth, like, what they're saying on TV about it all these years, it's false and, and there's actually a preserved scripture and I was like, let me, let me, like, buy all these English translations of the Quran and give them to everybody, they're going to say, oh, wow, Islam is the truth. Like, that's, that was my mindset. So, alhamdulillah, I, as soon as I became Muslim, I was like, I was like trying to give da'wah to my parents, trying to give da'wah to my friends, every, you know, do whatever I could. And, um, but the thing was, is I didn't really have knowledge at the time. So at some points I was harsh, you know, like arguing with my teachers in school. I was taking like comparative religion classes and I'm like arguing with that. I remember this one of my classmates was like, are you going to argue with the teacher today? I'm like, <laughs> because I was just like, he would say something about, about Musa, about the prophets, you know, alayhim salam. And, and I'd be like, no, that's not true. Like the prophets were the greatest, you know, of mankind, you know. So, you know, um, but after some time, I, I actually started going like to the masjid and I started uh getting to know my elders and they they would always ask me that question you're like how did your parents react to you embracing islam you know and um i would tell them and they would say you know you need to be really good to your parents like your parents they have such a high status in islam and you need to respect them and love them and you know so then i remember one week and after an elder told me this i went home and i was like mom and dad like i'm sorry like I've been, <laughs> i'm sorry i've been acting crazy i just you know it's, it, this isn't proper you know and ever since then i mean everything's been been better than ever with my family because it actually instilled those values in me. Whereas before Islam, I didn't really have, you know, I didn't appreciate my parents. I didn't appreciate my sister, my family, my grandparents, you know, it was just chasing the dunya, you know, thinking that your friends, you know, you want to hang out with your friends and be cool when in reality you should be, you know, trying to maintain a relationship and appreciate your parents. So, you know, alhamdulillah, my, my relationship with my family has been better than ever after I learned those values and started implementing them, you know. Right. MashaAllah. 